Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff, where today we're doing the UK's largest tropical butterfly paradise, the Stratford Butterfly Farm. <laughs> So this is the very first time we've done the Stratford Butterfly Farm. It's a place that's been on our list to do for quite some time. And now... He never shuts up about it, I tell you <laughs> I have been going on about it for quite a while. Over, well over a year, haven't I? Well over a year. Um, but we do love a, um, a butterfly walkthrough at the zoo. Um, just to name a few, Chester Zoo and London Zoo, they have amazing indoor butterfly walkthrough exhibits. But we've never done a standalone butterfly farm. I don't think there are so, many, are there? There's one no. in Sheffield. Yeah. Um, other than that, I don't really know. It's one somewhere down south um, near Chesington and Fort Park, I think. Um, but yeah, no, never done a standalone one. And this is the UK's largest um butterfly farm. It's got over 250 different species of butterfly, which is a Massive number of butterflies. Massive number. Yeah. Um, but they've also got a few free flying birds too. They've got a free roaming green iguana called Buddy, which I really hope we see. <laughs> I can't believe you even know the name of it. <laughs> it's on the website and it's Instagram. Um, and it's also got a few fish as well. And they've also recently opened a new park called the Tropical Realm, which is a new. Um, whole house. Next and to a park as well, hence the people jogging past constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're going to go inside and have a look, aren't we? Here we are, yeah. Yeah, pretty excited for this, are you? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, let's go. We found Buddy. Yeah. Can you see him? Eyes him away, bless him. He's on top of this sort of, oh, I'm quite zoomed in, but there's this grumpy looking statue, not scary look. And he's sat on top in the foliage. Oh, there's a child there. Where is that? Oh, I think she's on someone's shoulders, because you're not supposed to get that high. <laughs> so we've done a few of the rooms so far and really enjoying it so far. Really good here, isn't it? It is very hot though, very hot, very hot. It's very, very hot. Because, uh, yeah, they need to keep it uh, warm for the butterflies. I'm going to Stratford and buy some yeah, after yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many butterflies, so many different colours, varieties. Don't know where to look because they're, they're just everywhere. everywhere. They're just yeah. everywhere. There's mm. so, so many of them. So many. And we've just done the mini beasts bit, and now we're about to do the tropical realm, which is the newest area. Rainforest realm. 
Sorry, Rainforest Realm. Yeah, <laughs> it's Rainforest literally realm. a sign. There is still got it yeah, wrong. Yeah, sign. Um, yeah, but it's really nice so far, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's yeah. dart frogs everywhere. They've got leaf cutter ants, like, sort of walking on ropes over your head. It makes me feel a little bit itchy. Yeah, it does make you itchy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and we've had butterflies land on us, haven't we, as well? Yeah, yeah, some of them do land so, on you. Not yeah. really long enough for you to get a shot. No. But you never know, because you can yeah. keep going... The sort of last section where the pond is, you can keep going round and round and you round, can. can't you? you so, can. um You never know. We'll keep going round until mm. we get some decent shots, hopefully. Gosh, the uh, heat in there did get a little bit too much. So we've just come out into the garden area that they've got. Mm, it's made the British heat waves feel cool, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, it has. So they've got this nice little garden area with uh, plenty of flowers and stuff to attract local butterflies and bees and insects and such. Um, Although not... compared to like the amount of butterflies there are inside, I don't think... <laughs> Is ever gonna no, really fulfill, no. is it? And to be fair, like the amount of flowers they've got in there is really nice too, haven't they? Mm. Lots of lots There's of, fauna. of plant life. Yeah. Some good little themed statues mm. and bits of theming in like waterfalls and yeah. um, rock work and sort of like driftwood sort of things every net everywhere, isn't it? Little bridges and stuff as well. Yeah, it's and a really nice there area. A, there is a board that tells you what each statue means as well. We didn't um, read it. Did no, we? we didn't. You know, I think there's 11. You may be 11. interested in that. Yeah. But no, it's a fantastic butterfly ass, isn't mm, it? It um, really is, yeah. Really good size. I mean, it's obviously not an all day attraction. No. But, um, no. We spent, what, a couple of hours? Yeah, half in there? yeah. Something Just like over, between an hour and a half and two hours in there. Something like that. Yeah. And um, so it's definitely a good way to fill time. There's obviously a little mini beast area as well. It's mm -hmm. a really, really lovely attraction. Really, really nice. And it's only, what, like £9? Yeah, it's eight ninety five for an adult. Can't and complain about that. Seven ninety five will make yeah. all the difference. <laughs> And then seven ninety five for a kid. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's not bad priced, is it? 40p for a bit of fish food. Yes, which we bought fish. and we fed the koi carp. Mm. Yeah, that was nice. It was nice, yeah. a little, nice little addition. And you can, the last room, which I don't know if he's got a name, but the last room you can circle around. I think it's just got flight area. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought the whole thing was flat. But anyway, the last room that you're in that's got the waterfall and the bridge and the where the iguana was with the stone head, you but can he... circle that as many times as you want. Can you? Mm, you can, you can. So you can just keep wandering around and wandering around and mini beasts you can go through as many times as you want as well. So you can spend as long as you want. Maybe mm. you can spend all day here. Probably not. You'll probably die of heat exhaustion. Yeah. Nice, won't you? Yeah, I'm gasping for a drink now. So we're going to explore Stratford a bit now because we've never been here before. But if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and a comment and subscribe to see more content like this. We do feedbacks, we do zoos all across the UK and we'll see you next time we do stuff. <laughs>